my life as I knew it was brutally ripped away and changed forever when four gunmen burst into my home. I'm sorry. And savagely murdered my mom, my dad, and my two older sisters, not knowing that in the back room there were children hiding. I can still feel my brother's hand pressed tightly over my mouth. For every gunshot fired, he squeezed a little harder so that I couldn't scream. There we laid on the dirt floor of a two-room hall my brother built with his own two hands, waiting until the man left. My brother had no idea that I saw it all happen. The fear in my mother's eyes, the bravery in my father's, As my mom fell to the floor, she glanced at the room and reached out her hand. I knew she was dead. I wanted to run to her, to touch her, and to save her. I was four years old. We waited for what seemed to me like days until the sun came up over the mountain I called home, where I once climbed its trees and ate from its fruits, where I picked and ate the corn from the fields my father cultivated with his bare hands. We became orphans in an instant that night. We were left to fend for ourselves. My father warned us that this day would come. He followed the teachings of Oscar Romero and walked the countryside to preach liberation theology. He knew it was a risk and it would someday cause him his life. As he came in that night, he ordered us to hide in the next room. Those were the last, wor the last words spoken by my father. As a child for many years, I felt completely disconnected from the world. I was given a new life. All but one of my siblings were left behind. Where are they, I would often ask myself. Are they dead too? Did they make it to this new world called America? I thought one day I would see them again. I have lived my life always thinking about that horrible night. knowing that one day it will all make sense. With the work of Pro Queda and all those questions, all those questions were answered two years ago when I reunited with my family for the first time in 25 years. I can finally begin to piece my life together and make sense of all the tragedy which has consumed my life for so long. I have a long road ahead of me, and though I may encounter many obstacles along the way, I know every step will bring me closer to my roots. Today, 27 years after that dreadful night, I stand here before all of you, sharing my story in the name of my family and for the countless Salvadorans who have yet to reunite with their families with hopes of making a difference. My father speaks through me. His passion and hunger to make change happen is what drives me to do the same today. We fully and wholeheartedly support the work of Physicians for Human Rights and Pro Thank you.